Peggy 16. of the New World alike. Welcome to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I'm here today to introduce a new area to investigate. You can probably tell, but guess what it is? That's right, it's a world of silvery snow. After the research commission solved the mystery of the Elder Crossing, we decided to continue our research in the New World and we stumbled upon a new locale. But before I show you around, since it's rather chilly out here, I'm gonna go put on something warm. Back in a jiff. Okay, I'm ready. Bring on the cold. Now, everyone grab your hot drinks and let's get going. Legiana is a flying wyvern usually found in the Coral Highlands, but there have been reports of sightings in the ancient forest. When we went there to investigate, we saw a huge flock of Legiana flying off across the sea. Together with a mysterious monster veiled in ice. Big changes were happening in the New World, and trouble was brewing. We were sure the Legiana were headed for land. And sure enough, the Research Commission found a huge landmass covered in snow. We called it the Hoarfrost Reach, and we established a new base there. I can't wait to see what surprises this place has in store for us. This here's Celiana. It's the Commission's new headquarters in the Hoarfrost Reach. We're all working hard to make this place a safe stronghold. Of course, it has the same facilities as Astera. Maybe freezing, but the creatures out here are as strong as anywhere else. All right, let's get right down to business. The first thing you'll need out here in the cold is a hot drink. These will help keep up your stamina. A word of advice for you forgetful hunters out there. You can pick up the hot peppers found near camp and craft nice, invigorating hot drinks. Oh, what do we have here? A rhyme beetle. Oh look, it dropped something. These fellas make snowballs, which contain useful items. Wow, it's a hot spring. Let's take a quick dip. <sighs> this should keep us warm for a while. It looks like it's popular with the local wildlife as well. It's survival of the fittest out here, and every creature does what it can to stay alive. It makes you appreciate how tenacious life is, really. The biggest signs of monster activity are their tracks. Footprints, feathers, they leave a variety of trails. Collect enough of them and... the scout flies will react. They'll follow the scent of the tracks to lead you to the monster. If you want to know more about your current locale, open up the wildlife map. The locations of items and monsters will be shown as you investigate. And if you select a camp, you'll be whisked off by a wing drake. This lets you move around on the fly. <laughs> Get it? Keep investigating and these guys might help you out too. You won't be able to tame them completely, but they'll come in handy during your hunts and expeditions. 
you can just go for a nice stroll with them as well, if you feel like it. Hunters should always adapt to their environment and live in harmony with nature. These cute fur balls are palicos, your loyal partners. They may be small, but they provide you with support out in the field. All hunters of the commission have a slinger, but it's gotten a bit of an upgrade this time around. You can now fire it with your weapon drawn. But that's not all. It's got a completely new feature, too. It's called the Clutch Claw, and it'll come in super handy when fighting large monsters. Remember to thank the guys in the second fleet for cooking this up. Hold L2 to aim, and press circle to fire the claw. This lets you cling onto monsters. Press triangle for a weapon attack. The effect of this attack depends on which weapon you're using. Some weapons will soften a monster's hide, while others will make the monster drop slinger ammo. Try it with your favorite weapon and see what it does. There are other things you can do as well after clinging onto a monster. Move around with the left stick and press circle for a claw attack. Attack the monster's head to make it change direction, like this. Press R2 to unload all of your slinger ammo at once. This way, you can slam monsters into walls or drop them off cliffs to do some major damage. Check the weapon controls in your hunter notes to see how to use the clutch claw in combination with other weapons. There are 14 weapon types in total. The sword and shield allow for quick movement, making them very beginner friendly. The great sword lets you charge attacks for really heavy hits. The long sword powers up as you deal damage. The dual blades are great if you want to wail on your opponent. The hammer is ideal for stunning monsters. The hunting horn lets you power up your buddies with a variety of melodies. The lance offers balance between sturdy defense and sharp counterattacks. The gun lance lets you unleash huge blasts of wyvern's fire. The switch axe lets you attack with a powerful element discharge. The charge blade offers a choice between a sword and an axe, all in one. The insect glaive lets you control kinsects and perform jumping attacks. The light bow gun is for attacking quickly from a distance. The heavy bow gun is for heavy duty long range power. The bow lets you charge attacks to aim for weak spots. There's also a variety of mantles that grant temporary effects. Not to mention all of the things in the environment that you can use. Experiment with everything to see what kind of style fits you best. All right, everyone. Happy hunting and enjoy the demo.